Allison Storm is so concerned about how we look and dress around here that oh. she thought she'd get a fashion barista in. <laughs> I think it's fashionista. Fashion, and, I'm sorry. And no, don't don't make me sound so shallow, Rob. Shallow? I mean. <laughs> You care, yeah, and that's nice. I well, all this is on video, you know, so we actually have to like do our hair and stuff in the morning. But <laughs> um, I love this girl's job. I'm kind of jealous of Lindsay Crespo. She's joining us this morning. A chain of thrift stores—they're doing something really unique, and they're hiring Lindsay. To, she's a professional stylist to actually help folks find great outfits on the racks of a thrift store and prove that you don't have to spend a lot of money to look really great. What did, What did you think when you first heard? Oh thrift store doing fashion there i i've been thrifting since i was probably 18 so i was excited because obviously i have a passion for fashion and i just i've always loved getting things for a bargain and really cheap and still looking great so that was my kind of that was awesome for me and can we point out that everything she is wearing this morning is from a thrift store so how much would you have paid for your whole outfit here I would say it's about 40 because it's everything, including shoes, accessories, and even my handbag. Wow. Yeah. And she looks <laughs> adorable. Okay. 40 bucks for the whole thing that you're wearing. That's it. What would it have been like in a retail store? Well, I would say, I mean, jeans cost, what, 40 bucks or more? For Minimum, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, tops, probably 30. I would say it's definitely an over $100 outfit for sure. For 40 bucks. That's, That's it. not bad. Yes. And the cool thing about when you're shopping at Miracle Hill, who she works for, you're also, that money is going to use to help, help exactly. other people. Yep. Helping the homeless, helping those in need, helping those off the streets. It's it's an amazing, amazing opportunity for sure. So it's really a win-win. You're saving money, yep. but you're also using your money for a positive um, reason. Exactly. So what's, I'm curious, what's been your best thrift store find since you've been doing this for years? What's the coolest thing that you found? I have to say, surprisingly, it, it's not a piece of clothing item, uh-huh. but it's um, a Ralph Lauren suitcase. Wow. And online, I saw it selling for $700. <gasps> I don't know how, how true that is currently to that actual yeah. suitcase, but um, I mean, I feel like that is totally the best buy that I have so far. And how much did you pay for it? Um, $20. Wow. 20 bucks for Nailed a $700 it. suitcase. <laughs> awesome. Wow. That yeah. is pretty awesome. Exactly. But shopping at thrift stores can be a little overwhelming it can. for some people, because you sure. go in there and you're like, ah, oh, there's so much stuff. So I'd love to give people some tips that would help them to be able to walk out with a cool outfit Absolutely. like the one you're wearing. So first of all, you tell people to kind of know what you like before you go in. Yes, definitely. Why, why is that important? I feel like it's definitely important so that you understand what you're looking for. Because you can go into the thrift, thrift store and obviously there are a ton of clothes and they're not set in the order of, you know, style. They're just there. Mm-hmm. So if you have an inspiration, you, you can go in and find those exact pieces a little bit easier. If you know, you know you're looking for stripes, you just go to an aisle that has, you know, mm-hmm. cl- clothing with stripes on it. Mm-hmm. So it's just a little bit easier for you um, to sort through all of the clothes. And we should kind of print out the looks that yeah. we like before we go? Exactly. Exactly. And then use that kind of as our, you know, how what we're looking for, our treasure map, maybe? Right? Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> your how-to guide in the thrift store, for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. And I love how you helped one woman recently at the thrift store. Yes. Tell me about her and what her goals were and how you helped her. Um, Kelly's awesome. She is. She happened to be an author and well-known speaker, which I had no idea. And she... Um, she always had the um, goal to be styled, and it was actually on her bucket list, which I also had no idea. And she speaks in front of a lot of people, and she always just wanted to look business professional, and she always just wanted to feel great about herself, and she never knew how to find her style. So um, she sent me all these pictures from Pinterest, and she was like, these are the ideas that I have. You know, I've, I've just always loved the, these kind of looks. And I went into the store, and I found five, at least five of those pictures she sent me of the similar outfits, and she was just beside herself she was so excited somebody ever come to you and they're just a mess and they don't know what they want and you help out that way um yeah I mean I have people that just come to me and they're like I have no style and a lot of people are scared to try different things like I love pattern mixing patterns on patterns like stripes and flowers and people are like you would actually put that together and I'm like yeah you would and um, I actually had one girl that tried something on that she was totally against and she was like wow I look really good I'm like obviously (laughs) okay say a guy like me a wreck like me walks into the thrift store not a wreck you're not a wreck. <laughs> okay. Well, I still feel like it. You know, the jeans and t-shirt, that's all I am. So what would you do if I walked into the thrift store today and I say, I need some help. What are you going to do? I would say, where are you going? And if you want to do business professional, if you want to do night in the town, and I just kind of figure out from there what kind of style to aim for. If you want to change, you're saying jeans and t-shirts, so you sound casual. So yeah. maybe I'd 
update you a little bit, do jeans t-shirt with a blazer. A blazer. Ooh. I found oh, a blazer, okay. Perry Ellis blazer, which was probably one seventy five for about seven bucks. Whoa. Seven dollars. So I mean just adding an extra item to your outfit can totally change the look. Hmm. That's awesome. And that's one of your tips is to keep an open mind. Exactly. And trying on things that we maybe wouldn't normally do. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you're leaving some of the good stuff for the rest of us, right? Um, well, I can't <laughs> promise that. So get to your Miracle Hill right now and get your items. <laughs> awesome. Lindsay, thank you so much for giving us your fa frugal fashion tips thank this morning. You. Thank you so much for having me. Even when the 